Hey, yeah, are you guys alive? I'm over here talking to myself, screaming at air, screaming at everything in the face, punching my face in the face. You're probably saying, like, how does that make any sense, punching your face in the face? Well, it does, okay? So leave me alone. All right, so this one's going to be Divas, man. And I want to talk about the Divas show and my storylines. And now some of you guys love it. So let's talk about that. So we're going to do it with my favorite Diva, man. My favorite Diva, E. No, I'm just playing. My favorite Diva, Lita, taking on, well, it would be Natalia, but she's not here. She's not downloadable yet, so I'm going to put in Eve, I guess, because Eve is my second favorite. So let's put Eve and Lita in a match. Here we go. Here we go. Which, hint, hint, if you're watching this and you're a fan of my Diva storylines, if we can get to SummerSlam, hint, hint, spoiler alert, there will be a little some something going on there. There's a reason why Trish came back. There's a reason, just saying, man. Just saying, I, I do things for a reason. And anyways, Divas show, let's kick that one off. You know, the Divas champ right now is Eve, and the women's champion is AJ. And what's going on there? Simple. I'm going to have a video, don't worry, to explain everything when I transition over here. So when I, when you see those videos of of the WWE, you know, storylines like that, it means I'm getting ready to transition over here. So be on the lookout for those sooner rather than later. I'm going to bring that out and explain everything that's going on. Everything I'm thinking of that show and what I know what's going on. And then right now, though, here, let's just talk about the people that have really taken a liking to this show. I've taken a liking to my Wednesday Night Diva show. And I don't, I, you know, let me tell you the truth about it. This is what happened. The concept was made just because I like the Divas. I've always liked the Divas. Not just because they're, they're hot. And that's a simple that's a simple fact. But because some of them have character, some of them are like cool and sometimes I feel like, oh, they're not getting the respect they deserve, you know. They're they worked hard. Lita and Trish worked hard to get this to them. And you know, all the divas like Molly, Holly, Jacqueline, uh I remember those divas. I, I remember the, growing up with those divas and I was like, What's going on to them? You know, now I still feel like you have Layla, Eve, Caitlin and, and I really wanna see more of Natalia on T V. Just saying. And you oh I forgot AJ, but I really wanna see more of Natalia on T V. Just saying, I, I love Natalia, but you know, I, I feel like that show's been cool. So here we go, here we go. Let's get this one. Let's, let's kick that off. Let's climb, let's climb, let's, let's climb it. It's a ladder match between the two. We might not see the ending. We might see the ending. Who knows? But anyways, guys, uh, Diva Show. You know, why do you enjoy? Why? Why am I getting a lot of people and somehow liking that show? You know, uh, to tell you the truth, that was not the show that. I, I wasn't even thinking that show would get like that. I thought the show was going to be like, hey, that's going to be like, oh, why are you doing a show based on Divas and all this and that? And I thought it was like that. And then uh, I saw that there's not really much else going on with Divas on the on YouTube, is there? There's that one guy apparently that I copied, but I don't think I did because I didn't even know about him. But, hey, that's just me. I do weekly shows, just saying, not a pay-per-view. But I'm um, digressing. I didn't think this show. This show. Let me put the list of order of my show. How I put them by storyline. It's like the importance of it. Raw is number one, obviously. Then SmackDown's next. Then uh, well, I don't control NXT, so I my thoughts aren't really on NXT. The thoughts are by another man, who is called uh, T. Is it is T S A N SmackDown? So if you haven't subscribed to him. Go subscribe to him. He's got good ideas for shows. So if you if you're looking to like to start storylines. And you need ideas. That guy can help you out. He's very smart at what he does. And he's created NXT. So if you've enjoyed NXT, it's because of him. Not because of me. He's really put uh, the storylines and all the feuds and all that going together on, on NXT. And he has bigger plans for the next, the new version of NXT. But let's go back to the importance of it. Uh, you got a ECW pretty much by itself. So I got ECW by itself. I'm starting to think more about ECW now that they're giving it more. I've got a new plan for it and it's going to be, I, I like where it's going to go. So hopefully I can set it out there. You know, hopefully it goes out there. And then after that we just have a Superstars and now we've added Saturday Morning Slime. But Saturday Morning Slime is not going to be any show for like storyline things. It's just going to be matches and stuff like that. It's going to be fun and it's going to be a place for uh, commentators who want to improve their skills in commentating. And get better on another channel, and they want to get more. They want to get more, more, uh, more subscribers. Hopefully, we can do that for them. Hopefully, we can do that for the two subscribe, the two great commentaries we have on Saturday Morning Slime, um, of WWE Stories and Vader. Hopefully, they can get more 
subscribers because these guys are they're good they're just uh, learning right now though you know you're not always gonna start off great you always have that first show and that's it but other than that you know I, I think they have what it takes to be cool they don't talk like me too much but that's just me I talk a lot I can't shut up unless I'm like in a room of a thousand people then I like fuck I don't say anything I, if I'm like around two, ten people I don't say anything I'm like the quiet one when I'm all by myself I'm like fuck I need to talk I need to say something I need to say some stuff if I don't say anything, I'm gonna die, I go crazy. But again, the Divas, this is about Divas show, and I'm really digressing from it. But the Divas show, it was supposed to be just like, a, eh, you know, it was just a place to grow the Divas, grow their characters, and stuff like that. It wasn't really meant to be anything. It's like the D or the F show. It's, it's, it's not below Saturday morning slam, but it's barely above it. It's below Superstars, but. You know, I'm seeing that people are really enjoying it and people are actually subscribing to my channel because of it. So, you know, in my, I might start putting more effort into it. Or I might not because if I start putting more effort, obviously I haven't been putting any effort into it. And people have enjoyed it. So I might just keep it like that. I might just not put any more effort into it. I might just keep it the way I'm doing it, what I'm doing now. And hopefully that keeps people happy. Because I've seen when people start putting, you know, they start thinking, oh, this is the main reason. No, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing, hopefully. It works. Fuck me sideways. Hopefully it works and the people are enjoying it. Cause this is a. I, I like the concept of the diva show. Fuck me sideways, Eve. Come on. Come on. Come on, Eve. Why are you doing this to me? I thought we were girls. I thought we were cool. I thought we were cool. But uh, this uh, diva shows. I trying to figure out what else can I do. What else can I do to make it cool? You know, I brought in the beautiful people, which is a cool thing. And they're in that storyline with Lay Cool, which is cool. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna fall! 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 Grab it! Grab it! Bring it down! Oh god! Now I'm gonna bring. I brought in the beautiful people to take on the Michelle McCool, and that one's gonna be cooler. And there is some changes I have to do since WWE 13 came out, so. On the next episode of uh, Divas, you'll see some of those changes start to be implemented into it. And uh, I, I'm still keeping the two championships. I'm still keeping the women's championship and the Divas championship. So don't worry about that. That will stay the same. Come on, Eve. I need you to climb the fucking, climb to the fucking top, kid. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Don't, don't do this. Don't. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. I just gotta grab it, son of a bitch. No, I'm just trying to fucking win a match here. I'm just trying to win the match, trying to put the show down, trying to make you guys say, yeah, oh, okay. But no, Eve's not letting me. But the Divas show, man, has been cool. You know, it's not not the, like a thousand views or anything like that, but it's still getting, more, it's getting some love, though. And that's what I love to see. I love to see when the show gets love. I know I'm at least doing something right. <laughs> you know, I have every show having something going on right now. That's the thing about it. Have it something on, that's my idea on the storylines that if I'm gonna have a show I have to have something going on on each show I, there's something that, that's gotta be that's gotta be going on you know like on Raw I have my just regular storylines that's obviously just the show Raw uh, NXT we got the who's gonna be the next breakout WWE Superstar ECW we have it just like Raw and storylines like that so it's something you know it's just the way it is uh, you know cause I don't wanna make it like on Superstar like WWE Superstar where it really goes nowhere there's nothing else to do it. Like that's why superstars on mines. I put title matches. I put tag team tournaments. All this and that because I want I want you to tune into it. I want you to see what I can do with certain superstars. What I'm doing with every superstar. I like I've said before. I enjoy using every single superstar. It's no hassle to me. No nothing. Woo! That's Lita's move right there. That's the move that puts you down. I hope she doesn't get up anymore. I'm done. But again, our goal for Divas is to head over to SummerSlam. And once we get to SummerSlam, I promise you, you will not be disappointed by what will be the main event for the Divas. I, I've i been thinking of it, and it's going to be awesome. I've already had the storyline headed to SummerSlam. It's going to be awesome. And everything start working over after Over the Limit. And thank you guys for supporting the Divas show, really. Thank you guys for supporting it. I love you guys for supporting it. And I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep doing it because I know you guys enjoy it. And I'm not going to change anything or twerk anything. Maybe just the arena will change because it's a new game, WWE 13. So maybe the arena will change. But other than that, the rosters will hopefully, maybe some of the rosters will change. Maybe we'll bring in new people because, hell, we can bring in new people now. 
And uh, you know, maybe we'll start seeing surprises again. I did have Ashley once, so watch out. Maybe I just gave you a little hint right there. I might bring in some other people. Maria, you know, there's a lot of people that I want to bring back into the Divas. We want to make that a big time, uh, big time depth. We now added four matches. We used to have three. Now we have four. So maybe we'll add until five soon. But we'll see what happens. We'll see how you guys enjoy. It. And uh, hopefully you guys keep liking that show. Hopefully you guys can start watching the other shows if you haven't started watching them. And you can like them too, you know. Who the hell knows? Maybe you're already watching them and you like them. Or maybe you're watching them and you don't like them. But you don't want to say anything because you'll think you'll hurt my feelings. But you won't. You won't. I'm ready to hear it. I'm ready to hear that this story sucks. This whole show sucks. You suck. Get the fuck off YouTube. I'm ready to hear that. Anyways, guys. <laughs> be safe out there. Peace out.